Okay, in this iridology lesson, we're going to learn how to spot where the lymph nodes are and check out the condition of them. Uh, the lymph nodes uh, in the iris show up as these little dots just around the outer edge of the iris. You can see them here. When you have a lot of them showing up, this is called a lymphatic rosary. And this is not a good sign. It shows you that your lymph nodes are clogged all over the body. Uh, these are your septic tanks. You have thousands of them. Uh, they're essential to your immune system. And uh, they filter, trap, and destroy toxins, mutated cells, also known as cancer cells. Uh, they trap virals, bad bacteria, and fungus. Uh, they also have um, some friendly bacteria in them that neutralizes acids uh, in the lymph uh, from cellular waste before sending it to the kidneys. If, if you didn't neutralize these acids, uh, you would actually uh, burn uh, the kidneys and hurt the kidneys. So these things are essential here for us. Uh, they also produce uh, some lymphocytes, which are immune cells. Uh, so keeping these things clean is essential to your health. And, and when they're clogged, like here, this is serious. Uh, this can lead to, to all kinds of degenerative conditions, um, including cancers, tumors, uh, boils, cysts, all kinds of things. So you want to clear these lymph nodes out. Um, you can tell the condition of them by the size of them. Uh, also by the color. Uh, the wider they are, um, the uh, uh, less chronic they are. In other words, they haven't been there a long time. You can see that the lymph nodes, as we get up into the head area, are going a little off color here. They're getting a little bit of, um, of brownness to them. That means that they've been uh, clogged up in the head region longer. So, um, or uh, if you have uh, sulfur in you, uh, which this person looks like they have a little bit of sulfur in the bowels and it will reach up into the lymph nodes as well. Okay, uh, so, <clears throat> you know, how, how do these lymph nodes get clogged? Well, they can, you can overburden uh, the lymph system uh, with uh, uh, acids. You know, uh, eating uh, too much uh, acidic foods is one. And then also uh, by consuming uh, uh, dairy products and refined sugars, uh, you create too much mucus and they'll clog the lymph nodes as well. Uh, toxins, parasites, uh, dead cells, etc. An overabundance of those can clog uh, your uh, lymph nodes as well. When you have your tonsils removed, these are gigantic lymph nodes, by the way, and this will overburden the other lymph nodes and sometimes cause a chain reaction, and you'll get swelling th all throughout the lymph node system. So what's the remedy here? How do you get rid of this? How do you help these lymph nodes out? Well, detox is the only answer, of course. You want to get kidney filtration so the lymph uh, acids and toxins move out of the body. Um, sometimes the uh, lymph nodes uh, get clogged. They need a little bit of help. They can get hardened, by the way. So that's where uh, lymphatic massage helps. Uh, that's also where um, you know, rubbing castor oil over the lymph, uh, the hardened lymph nodes will help soften them. Hot and cold packs will help too. Exercise is essential, as we know, to moving lymph, and that will also help clear the lymph nodes. Saunas will help, you know, get sweating, get moving, and of course, uh, Dr. Morse's lymphatic herbs and his lymph node formulas will help as well. But detox, 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 move your lymph. All right, so I hope this helps. Thank you.